So let's take a look at question 10. It says you have the second order differential equation and one solution is given to us. So first of all, what we can do, we can divide everything by x squared. Divide by x squared. And note that x cannot be equal to zero. So you get the second derivative of y plus two divided by x, y prime minus six divided by x squared y equal to zero. So as you can see, you have non-constant coefficients. So you cannot apply the auxiliary equation method. We have to apply the reduction of order to find the second different second solution for this differential equation. So what are we going to do? We know that y2 divided by y1 is equal to a function like u. So y2 is equal to ux y1 of x, which is just x squared. If we need the first derivative and second derivative of this function. So the first derivative becomes u prime x squared plus 2x u of x. And then the second derivative becomes u double prime x x squared plus u prime x 2x plus 2 ux plus 2x u prime of x. As you can see, you have like terms, so this is going to be 4x. Now let us do the substitution. Here we have x squared times the second derivative, which is u double prime x squared plus 4x u prime x plus 2ux plus 2x y prime. y prime is equal to u prime x x squared plus 2x ux minus 6y, which is ux x squared. On the right hand side, we have a zero. Okay. Let's try to simplify this differential equation. We get x to the fourth, the second derivative of u, plus 4x cubed u prime of x plus 2x squared u of x plus, now we distribute 2x into parentheses, we get 2u prime of x, x cubed plus 4x squared u of x minus 6u x squared equal to zero. So let's see what do we have. Ux x squared, we have 2x squared ux, we have 4x squared ux. So as you can see, you can cancel out these. So what's left? We're left with x to the fourth, the second derivative of u. Now let's see here, we can combine these two plus 6u prime x cubed equal to 0. So as you can see, here we are dealing with the second derivative of u plus 6x to the negative 1 and u prime of x equal to 0, which is a linear differential equation of first order if you do the substitution w equals to u prime. Very well. So W prime. Plus 6 x to negative 1. W is 0. The integrating factor is e to the integral. 6 divided by x. dx, which is e to the 6 ln of absolute value of x, and then we multiply all terms that we have by the integrating factor. We get w prime x to the 6 plus 6 divided by x, x to the 6 w equal to zero. However, right on the left hand side, they have the dx of w x to the sixth. 
And on the right hand side, we have a zero. So W X to the six is equal to C and W is C to X to negative six. Well, at the same time, we know that W is equal to U prime. So U prime is C X to negative six. Let's call it C sub one. And U becomes, we have C one divided by negative five x to negative 5 plus c so u of x is equal to let's call it c2 x to negative 5 plus c let's see be equal to 0 and c2 equal 1 so u of x becomes x to negative 5 very well so going back to y2, y2 becomes x to negative 5 times x squared or x to negative 3. This is the second solution of this differential equation. It means that the general solution can be written as y equals to c1 x squared plus c2 x to negative 3 general solution.